Hello everyone, it's me Abhishek Thapa. Today I'm going to talk about uh, prediction using mach supervised machine learning, which is the beginner level task as a data science intern in the Sparks Foundation. Uh, the data set I have used in this project is uh, taken from this URL. You can go to this URL and have this data set for your project. In uh, step number one, I have imported the important libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. Uh, in step number two, loading data sets, I have loaded the data set using the read underscore cv method of the pandas. <coughs> this is the glimpse of our data sets. Uh, in step number three, exploratory data analysis and visualizations. Now let's see the uh, shape info and the statistical distribution of our loaded data sets now using the d of that shape. Here, the two, uh, 25 means the number, there are 25 number of rows, and the two means that there are two number of columns that is the hours and the scores. <coughs> and D of that info for the total info of about our data sets, uh, about the memory uses, the data type, uh, non-null count, and the column uh, attributes names, and etc. And D of the describe method is used if to have the uh, information about the statistical distribution of our data sets. From this, we can also uh, check for any noisy topos or the values in our data sets. <coughs> here uh, mean is mean hour is 5.01 and the minimum is 1.1 maximum is 9.20 so uh, uh, the mean and the maximum value are much not much more uh, deviated from the mean so there is no requirement of the uh, standardization as well as the normalization of our data sets we can also normalize and uh, standardize our data sets and uh, compare the values but i don't think uh, it will affect so much so i haven't used uh, standardization and normalization for this purpose now let's check for the missing and the duplicated values of the two poles in our data sets for that i have using the d of that is any that sum method and it is giving the zero zero means there are no any missing values for the um, uh, hours as well as the uh, core scores attributes of our columns <coughs> and uh, d of dot n unique means it, uh, it will return the number of unique values for the uh, each row each columns that is the hours as well as the scores and for the for checking the duplicated values of the tuples in our data sets we are using d of the duplicated dot sum uh, methods and it is giving the zero that means there are no any duplicated tuples in our data sets and d of the t types for the uh, types of our data type of our column values uh, like this uh, ours, ours columns has data um, type of float and the scores have the integer data type that means all the features are of numeric type so no need of the encoding of the features for this data sets <coughs> let's visualize uh, uh, our data sets using this character plot for that i am using the c1 is a style and fixed size of 10 comma 6 means the 10 is the width and the 6 is the height of our figure and i'm plotting the uh, plotting is the ax that is scatter and the plotting uh, uh, the hours column in the x axis and the scores column in the y axis and c is equal to green means the color of the scatter plot is green so i am getting the dot uh, green dots here and setting the label is uh, x label is number of hours studied per day in the percentage gain is the y label and the x limit is from the 0 to 10 and the y limit is from the 0 to 100 and x ticks range 0 to 11 is the 0 1 2 2 10 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 similarly the 0 to 110 and the step is 10 that means 0 10 20 and stepping by 10 to 100 now and this line is just uh, to show you you can see if i am commenting this line then i am getting 0 for the x axis as well as the 0 for the y axis so if i am uncommenting this line then i will get this so i have <coughs> making one zero invisible by using this line of code 
and i have given the subtitle is the super title is the scatter plot with the orange color and font size of 22 and bold and from this uh, visualization of scatter plot we can uh, draw the conclusion is that the x and y are directly proportional to each other is with the increase in x y value is also increasing and vice versa step number four data splitting and model fitting for model fitting the shape of the x features must be of m comma n where the n is greater than or equal to one where is the y that is the target feature of m comma one which is the one dim dimensional array uh, for the uh, train uh, for the <coughs> Splitting propose I am importing the train test split from the sklearn.model model underscore selection and uh, I am using the two uh, machine learning algorithm that is the random forest regression and the linear regression. So I am importing them from sklearn.in symbol and the sklearn.linear underscore model. Now for the data uh, uh, splitting I am have I am dropping the scores attributes and only keeping the rest of uh, that is the rest is only the hours so uh, x will have the only the hours attributes and uh, y will have only the scores which is the target attributes and we can see the shape is 25 comma 1 which means m in the form of m comma n where n is greater than or equal to 1 and the y shape is also matching with our requirement now then after that i am splitting the our data set using the train train test split into the train and the test data sets and the with the test data size data set size is 0 0.2 and keeping the random state is equal to 0 for the consistent purpose that is the for the consistent splitting of our x and the y data uh, now firstly i'm uh, trying with the uh, random forest regressor so instantiating the random forest regressor rf is equal to random forest regressor and n estimator is equal to 100 which is the n estimator is the hyperparameter and this is by default uh, 100 so i'm setting it as a default value <coughs> and the rf dot fit is equal to x train y train so i'm fitting the uh, train data to our random forest model and I am checking the accuracy and the model accuracy and the training uh, data set is 98.96% which is quite good but not uh, but it must be very very close to the 100% because of less number of uh, topples in our data set uh, uh, this is not having the as much as expected a uh, model accuracy on the training data sets similarly for the test data sets i am, I am having the 80.6047 percent with the random first regression now let's check with the linear regression similarly we are instantiating the linear regression uh, model is the linear regression and uh, fitting the uh, train data set to the linear regression model and checking the model accuracy on the training data sets and we are getting the 95.155 uh, which is again much less than that of our uh, random first regression but for the test data sets it is giving the quite much good accuracy edge of that of the uh, random forest so which is 94.59 percent now let's compare the accuracy versus the actual versus the predicted of the two models on test data on test data look this hour is the actual hours and this is the actual value of actually scores values and these are the predicted by the linear regression and the random forest model actual was 20 and last degree sorry linear regression model predicted 16 but random forest predicted 19 which is quite close to that of the actual one and in this for this one linear regression model is predicting good so in this way we are comparing we can compare our actual versus the predicted of the two models the test data as well as on any other data sets now let's uh, see the regression line on the scatter with the scatter plot for that we are having our line is equal to uh, lr dot coefficient under, under, under multiply x plus lr dot intercept we have the uh, dot coef, coef underscore and the intercept underscore uh, attribute of our linear regression model model is a, a since the linear regression model uh, draw will uh, make a uh, regression line and have the uh, 
and any line have the uh, inter y intercept as well as the coefficient uh, coefficient that is the x coefficient so we can assess that values is the li dot intercept underscore and li dot coefficient underscore that that is what i am doing here and uh, m is equal to li dot coefficient that is y is equal to mx plus mx plus c is the equation of line for that m is equal to li dot coefficient underscore and zero because this will be have uh, returning the coefficient as an uh, array so uh, first element is uh, our requirement so i use the zero for the uh, assessing the first is a m value and the uh, c is equal to li dot intercept underscore <coughs> and the line equation is equal to mx plus c and we are using the <coughs> same scatter plot and just we are plotting the line on that scatter plot pl by using the plt dot plot x line and which is in the red color this is now again we see or compare the predicted versus the actual of the random forest regression model we previously compared uh, the uh, we, we see about the regre uh, linear regression uh, line uh, line is the linear regression model will uh, create a regression line for the model prediction uh, for the prediction proposed but uh, in, in the in what the uh, way uh, of working of the random forest regression model is different so uh, we uh, it will not uh, draw the line is like that so we cannot uh, visualize the, these things for the random forest so for the comparing the actual versus predicted of random forest i have used this approach <coughs> of, uh, I, in the red color the, the, these all are the predicted values and the green are the actual values i have uh, plotted the train data actual train data and uh, also the predicted train data how and how the random forest works look see for this value uh, this is the actual value which is in green color and this is the uh, red in color which is the predicted by our random forest regression so these two uh, points are nearly close to each other so we can see uh, our linear regression model sorry our random forest model um, model fit uh, uh, model fitted uh, very uh, fitted with high accuracy uh, to the with the trend data sets so this is our trend data sets this is the actual trend value <coughs> trend uh, target attributes and this is the predicted one in this way we can make comparison now in step number five we are making the prediction on unseen data uh, so we are uh, we are providing the uh, random uh, value to, uh, random value that is 9.25 which is the unseen value to our model so um, i am predicting using the predict attribute and passing the hours as uh, our unseen data and how and the LR model predicted this is the LR model predicted is 93.6917 percentage and for the same attribute our random forest will predict it is 87.84 percent which is better it cannot be uh, it cannot be said because uh, this there are very much less uh, number of data sets in our uh, for our training purpose we use less number of data sets so uh, accuracy and uh, is low and there is a high error rate so just uh, see this result for the uh, learning purpose only uh, we cannot make any judgment from this okay now for the model evaluation is this is the regression problems we can't use the classification report confusion matrix and the accuracy score matrix for the model evaluation so we can are using the mean absolute error so which one is better model for that we need to have the model evaluation now for the trace data sets we can see the random forest uh, giving the mean absolute error of 7.11 which is higher than that of the lr mean absolute error so for the test data set our linear regression model is uh, better from this comparison only for the test data sets only 
because it has the less mean square mean absolute error value so uh, no low accuracy and the high error is because of less number of tuples in our data set because there are only 25 number of tuples in our data set which is very uh, insufficient for any machine learning model for the training as well as for the testing purpose so this is uh, all about my uh, project about the prediction using supervised mach machine learning hope you uh, love this uh, presentation and if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much